Who says global risk of Wuhan virus is high? Here's a summary of the article. Geneva, the World Health Organization on Monday said the global risk from the deadly virus in China was high, admitting an error in its previous reports that said it was moderate. The UN health body said in a situation report published late Sunday that the risk was very high in China, high at the regional level and high at the global level. Red, Wuhan virus death toll spikes to 81, more than 2,700 cases confirmed in China read, China races against the clock to build virus hospitals. The WHO on Thursday stopped short of declaring the virus an international public health emergency, a rare designation used only for the most severe outbreaks that could trigger more concerted international action. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who is visiting China this week to discuss further action to contain the virus, on Thursday said, this is an emergency in China, but it has not yet become a global health emergency. Red, China scrambles to contain strengthening virus. Then in 2014, the WHO met harsh criticism for dragging its feet and downplaying the severity of the Ebola epidemic that ravaged three West Africa countries, claiming more than 11,300 lives by the time it ended in 2016. More, our coverage on the Wuhan virus and its developments. This post received a score of 38,819, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. According to the BBC, nearly 3,000 confirmed cases, 5,500 suspected cases, 30,400 being monitored, edit, I wonder if these are relatives of infected, 400 critical, 81 dead, opening square bracket. Some useful resources, Gafikad of the case map from the past four days, source, closing square bracket opening parenthesis, charts comparing 2019 NCOV to SARS, source. Closing square bracket opening parenthesis. Greater than, updated version using stats from today, source. Closing square bracket opening parenthesis. BNO News Case Tracking. Johns Hopkins Map. Map by Redditors. The WuhanVirus.com. SCMP Basic Tracker. 2019-20 Wuhan Coronavirus Outbreak Wikipedia. R. China underscore flu FAQ, wiki. Dash dash dash. Confirmed cases, 4,600. Deaths, 106. Stats have been updated. Dash dash dash. More updates on R. China underscore flu. Sort by new. Thanks for the silvers and. As an update, the two cases in MN seem to have come back negative. Two of three in Virginia were negative. Haven't heard about the third. Overall good news. I was in China at the beginning of the month, and now have an unrelated cold. My work is convinced I have coronavirus so they called me to tell me to stay home until I'm cleared by a doctor. Edit to add, before I left, my work had several verified cases of pertussis going around and they did jack shit about it. Didn't even tell anyone about it. Way to be consistent. That's the best excuse ever to skip work. I'm not sure if I have the coronavirus but I was in China earlier and now I have symptoms of a cold. My doctor won't see me, might be a little bit longer. Will you cover the cost of the note? No so I can work from home indefinitely. No? Well, fuck. You know what, I really need the money so I'll just come in for work tomorrow, oh you change your mind? Fuck. Bad time to have a low immune system. Haha <laughs> suck it nerds, my body has been training for years by attacking itself. Autoimmune gang, unite. Rise up. Rheumatoid arthritis checking in. Chronic joint pain checking in, too. Ankylosing spondylitis coming in hot. How dangerous is this virus to a healthy adult? Like are these deaths elderly people or kids or what? I can't tell how dangerous this actually is. So far the mortality rate for infected seems to be approximately 3% too. The disease is more deadly for immunocompromised, older, or younger individuals. This doesn't mean that younger healthier people are not in danger from the disease, but rather that the complications it brings are a lot more deadly if you're part of a certain group. I believe that the youngest confirmed death was 34 years old. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.